In this video here, I will show you how to export your Jupyter document in a different format, specifically in HTML and PDF formats. I have opened a uh, file that I made earlier. This is the intro markdown formatting, how to insert an image. If you go to File and Download As, you get an, a variety of options that you can export your file as. I just want to go down to say, uh, for some PDF, it will, uh, as far as I understand, it will first convert into a tech file and then, then convert into a uh, PDF file, or the PDF via LaTeX uh, is a similar uh, version of it. Let's try the PDF. The tech file. If you just export it directly as a PDF file, so click on that one and see what happens. It will not try to render render a uh, tech file. And then use a PDF to oh sorry a tech to PDF converter or conversion. Um, see how long time it will take. Typically, it will not take too long time. So we'll see. You can uh, fast forward your video here if you want to. I will just sit here and look and babble along. Still loading. So one of the reasons why it takes longer time here is because there's an issue. And I will show you what that issue is. And that's an issue that comes up in sometimes when we try to convert directly to PDF files. So here that was internal server error. And it tells us what the error is. If you go down here it says that for example, LaTeX warning, this image file was not found, um, no author was given. These are all um, warnings. Okay. So at the end, it, uh, for example, these uh, HTTPS, these are the website addresses. So it does not know how to go and fetch the images on these websites. So sometimes when we try to convert directly to a PDF file, it just won't work. So I have a workaround of that. So let's close down this window here, go back to the markdown or the uh, introdu introduction markdown formatting insert image file. Now I'm going to go and going to download as HTML. So HTML will just provide you with a file, then it's pretty much like a web page. So you can open that in any web browser. So convert or export as HTML. Let's choose that. Okay, want to save as. Let's just save it to my desktop. Okay, and it's done. A lot quicker. So let's try and uh, open up this file. I'm just going to double click on it since it's a HTML file. It will open up in your web browser. So double click on it. And here we go. It's loading up and it's opening up. And we can see that now it looks like the file was before. Now the difference is, of course, you cannot edit it because it's not a Jupyter file. However, if you had, for example, hyperlinks and so forth in there, you'll be able to execute those. So if you turn in, for example, homework, this is a great way to turn in homework because it's easy for the reader, for the grader, or for me to open up that file. I just so I'll just click on the file, it'll open in the web browser, and I can easily see your work. All right. So that's uh, one way to, but um, also preferred way to actually submitting a file. Now, if I need to go in and make edits in the document, then I will need the original Jupyter file. If you want to convert to PDF, now you have your HTML. Now you can actually just use your web browser to convert to PDF. You can go up. Uh, you can go to Chrome, you can go into uh, print, and you can save as PDF. So in, if you have a, a chosen printer, you can of course print it, but you can also uh, just choose to save it as a PDF and do save. And now it asks me to save it again. I'm going to save it on my desktop. Okay, And now I have a PDF file. Um, so the PDF file format, 
may look slightly different from the HTML, but in essence, all the information is there. Uh, there might be some uh, in terms of the uh, margin and spacing between images and so forth, as it wants to try to push it to a different page. Um, so these are the ways we can uh, export our Jupyter file into other formats that will be very suitable for our classes.